Hi friends, welcome to this channel. In this previous tutorial, we have generated refresh token and now let's use it. Opening my authentication controller. Here is a method for our login. Let's copy it and paste it below. Change the post mapping to refresh underscore token. Whenever our token is expired, we will send request to this refresh underscore token endpoint to get a new access token. Change the method name to refresh token. Now we do not need this request body because in case of getting new access token using this refresh token, we will send this refresh token in the authorization header of the request. So instead of this request body, let's inject HTTP servlet request. This HTTP servlet request holds all the information about the incoming request. And also we need HTTP servlet response. In the return statement, here we are currently calling authenticate method from auth service. For getting the refresh token, we need to use another method. Let's say the name is refresh token. And pass our request and response. Currently, it's showing an error because we have not created this method yet. Let's create this method. The new method is created in authentication service. Move this parameter to a new line for the better readability. Here we need to do a couple of things. First of all, we need to extract a token from the authorization header. Let's do this. We need to access the request. Then from this request, we need to get the header and we need to get authorization header. So uh, we need to inject HTTP headers. Make sure it's from org.springframework.http. So let's inject it. Dot, we need authorization header and save it to our auth header. This is type of string. Now check if auth header is null or if auth header is not start with BRR token. As we are going to send this refresh token as BRR token in the authorization header. So we need to check if this BRR token is, is exist. If these are true, that means the header is null or BRR token is not exist. Then we need to return an unauthorized response. So new response entity. Here we need to provide HTTP status dot unauthorized. Okay, we, we need to change this return type of the method. Let's change it. So if this auth header is exist and it start with BRR token, then we need to substring this auth header by seven character. Why? Because after this BRR there is space, there is our token, including this space, it's total seven character. So if we remove this BRR token, including the space, then we will get this token. Save this to the token variable. Now we have the token. It's time to extract the username from the token. If you have seen my previous tutorial on how to implement this JWT authentication, I have shown you how to include this username in this JWT token. If you did not, I highly recommend you to check that one. So uh, here I am going to extract this username from this refresh token which is in form of JWT. To extract user token, we need help from our JWT service. Here we have a method extract username. In this method, we need to pass our token. So our, we are able to extract the username. Now we need to check if the user is exist in the database. To check this, we will need another help from user repository. Previously, we have created a user repository. Here a user repository is injected. Let's check it. It has a method called find by username. We will use this method to get our user from database. So it will be repository dot find by username and here pass our username and if this user is not exist in the database then throw an exception new username not found exception no user found and if user found then check if this token is valid so if jwt service here we have already one method named is valid. This method is for checking access token. I am going to create another separate method to check if this refresh token is valid. So it will be is valid refresh token. Here we will pass token 
and user. Now we need to create this method in JWT service. Let's create this method. Our new method is created. Let's cut this method and scroll up. After this is valid method, paste our newly added is valid refresh token method. Here copy this code from is valid method and paste it in our new method. Now first of all, we need to extract the username. And then now we need to check if this username equals the user's username that we have passed in our method and also if this token is not expired if this is valid we can now generate a new access token for the user so generate a new access token jwt service dot generate access token pass our user and save it to this access token and now we need to generate a refresh token jwt service dot generate refresh token and save it to the refresh token variable and finally return response entity here pass our authentication response in our authentication response constructor access token and refresh token and status code is http status dot ok ok there is an error we need to instantiate this authentication response and finally if everything is false we need to response with unauthorized code now back to the authentication controller we need to replace this and it will be auth service dot refresh token and also change the response type of this method that will be response entity now start the application our application is started now let's generate a refresh token register a new user send a request our access token and refresh token is generated now try to generate this access token from the refresh token open a new tab it's uh, we need to call refresh token endpoint this, is, this request type is post and url is localhost 8080 slash refresh token and in the authorization header it will auth type will be BRR token and pass the refresh token here to generate a new generate a new token. Currently we are getting 401 unauthorized error. We need to whitelist this refresh token endpoint. So in the in the IDE open security config here we are whitelisted our login and register URL. Along with it we need to whitelist this refresh token URL. Restart the server. Again, send a registration request. A new refresh token is generated. Copy this refresh token and head to the refresh token tab. Paste it in the barrier token. Now the token is generated successfully. This is access token and this one is refresh token. Let's try to use this access token to access this protected resource. Copy this access token. Go to the tab which we use for accessing the demo url in the authorization header pass our newly generated access token and send a request we are getting 401 unauthorized let's check what happened open the id here in the authentication controller fresh token method here we are generating access token and refresh token and we are passing the response and we are getting the response as expected but why the token is invalid let's check the other method why i have implemented this access token access token and refresh token generation that is in this authenticate method here after this token is generated we have saved the user token and also revoke all the tokens so we need to use these methods in our refresh token method as well so copy this one and go to and open our refresh token method from authentication service after the generating this access token and refresh token paste this method that's all start the server send a new 
registration request our new token is generated use this refresh token to get a new access token copy this refresh token head to the refresh token tab refresh token request replace this token with our newly generated refresh token and send request our new access token is generated copy this one and in this demo url request replace this this old access token with the newly generated access token and send the request now we are getting the response from this protected resource now let's make another test after generating this refresh token i will wait for 24 hour when the token is expired then i will use that refresh token to access this protected resource now let's log into the system move to the login tab use our username and password to login using this newly generated token now we can access this protected resource so our token our access token is valid for 24 hours i will come back after 24 hours and check if the token is still valid if not valid then we will use our refresh token to generate a new access token and use that newly generated access token to access this protected resource okay welcome back it's been 24 hours let's send a new request see we are getting 401 unauthorized as our access token is expired now we will use our refresh token to generate the new access token so copy our previously generated access token from this from this login tab head to the refresh token tab in the authorization header as the bearer token paste our refresh token and send the request our new access token is generated copy this access token head to the protected resources tab that is our demo endpoint paste this token as bearer token and send request now we are able to access this endpoint so that means our user do not need to add their username and password again after their token is expired to get a new access token to access this authorized endpoint but here another thing i need to fix first of all let's log out the user opening a new tab for logout url this request tab is post the url is localhost 8080 slash logout in the authorization header auth type is bearer token now copy the access token from where we have logged in and in the logout replace this token and logout the response is 200 that means we are able to log out of the system now head to the login tab here is our refresh token copy this one now we will try to use this refresh token to generate a new access token so open the refresh token tab in the authorization header replace the refresh token and send the request now we are able to generate a new access token from this old refresh token but this should not be the case as the user is logged out we must invalidate the refresh token so that it cannot be used to generate a new access token let's implement this back to my ide closing other tabs the logout logic is implemented in our custom logout handler class let's open it this is our logout method here extracting the auth header then getting the stored token from the database here marking the stored token to logged out to be true and update it in the database check the database i am using the database tool that comes with my intellij ide ultimate version you can use your mysql workbench or any other tool you like here is my token table view the data this is our generated token we are marking is logged out to true if the user is logged out from the system besides these columns in the database i will add another column to store refresh token so when the token is marked as logged out it will be applicable for both access token and refresh token so when generating a new access token from refresh token we will query the database by the refresh token if that token is exist and if that is marked as logged out then the refresh token is invalid the user then needs to provide the username and password to get his new access token and refresh token to do that open the token model here we have our token field below that add a new field for refresh token column name 
and the field. Now generate getter and setter for refresh token field. Opening authentication service. Go to the save token method. This method accepts JWT token and user. Here is new token is initialized. Then setting the token, setting the user and finally save it to the database. Let's change the parameter name from JWT to access token. Along with these two parameters, I will make this method to accept refresh token. Change this to access token. Actually, let's change the name of the method from set token to set access token. Control and click this method to open the declaration. In our token class, this is setter method of token. Scrolling up, change the name token to access token. Right click, refactor, rename. Yes, I want to include accessors. Change the name, refactor. This will change all the instances of our access token. Our IDE will take care of changing all the instances of this access token throughout my project. Now change the column name to access token. Now in the authentication service, here set refresh token, token dot set refresh token. Pass our refresh token here. Here we have some error. Let's check this. One in the authenticate method. We need to provide our refresh token while saving the token. Next one is the register method. Fix this one. And the last one is in this refresh token method. Fix this. We are done with our authentication service. Now open JWT service. Here in is valid method, we are querying the database for access token and checking if the token is marked as logged out. If not logged out, it will return false. And we are storing this in the is valid variable. We will do the same thing for our refresh token. Copy the statement. Paste it inside our is valid refresh token method. Here change the variable name to valid refresh token. Here we will query the database by refresh token. So find by refresh token. It is showing error because we have not created this method yet. We will create it shortly. Here we are checking if the token is marked as logged out. If not, then it returns false. And here in the return statement, add this checking if the token is not expired and if the refresh token is valid. Now create the find by refresh token method. Our new method is created in the token repository. Here we do not need to do anything. In our JWT service showing error. Here is logged out. Let's check the token repository again. Okay, here the return type is not object. It needs to be token. With that, our error is fixed. Now start the server. Again, our server failed to start. Check the issue. No property token found for token. Check the token repository. Here we have find by token method. We have just renamed this token to access token. So find by token will not work. We need to rename this to find by access token. Right click, refactor, rename, find by access token. Also rename the other method. Find all access token by user. Now let's start the server. Now it's successful. Open the postman, register for a new user, send the request, copy this newly generated access token, protected demo URL, replace the access token, send request, it's now accessible. Now log out from the application, log out tab, replace the token, send the request, the response status code is 200, that means log out was successful. Now on our protected demo URL, send the request. It is now not accessible with the old token because the user is logged out. Now try to generate a new access token with the refresh token. Head to the registration tab. Copy the refresh token. Head to the refresh token tab. Replace the token with the newly generated refresh token. We have just copied. Send request. This time the response is 401. So as the user is logged out, using refresh token to generate new access token is prohibited. We have successfully implemented this feature.
so far in this video tutorial series the very first video we have implemented JWT token based authentication and then we have learned how to log out from the system that uses token based authentication and in this video we have learned how to generate access token from the refresh token if the token is expired in this video I have used a single key to sign and verify the token JWT can be signed and verified using shared secret key this is called asymmetric signing algorithm in our case we have used the same key to sign and verify our token besides this symmetric signing algorithm we have another approach that is called asymmetric signing algorithm this type of algorithm uses a pair of mathematically linked keys a public key and a private key the private key is kept confidential and used to sign the JWT while the public key is distributed and used for verification while generating a token we can use private key to sign the token and public key to verify it so we will learn it on my next video tutorial till then bye bye